Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and talking about um, a topic that I've been thinking about for a really long time. I was in the shower today like, should I talk about this in a video? And I was like, I might as well. Um, maybe it'll help somebody. It'll help me to understand my feelings more. So let's get into it. Um, I already prepped my skin with rose water, um, brightening serum, and sunscreen. Um, and those are the steps I pretty much do whenever I do my makeup on a regular basis. Um, it wasn't in the last video, I switched up the order kind of, and I found that this one had been working better for me. So I'm going to stick with this one probably. Um, so, you know, I do my eyebrows first. Let's get into this. Get ready with me. So something that I've been thinking about for a while is like, I've been a lot happier this summer. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, like, identify why that is. Um, I mean, obviously, like, I'm just growing and becoming more mature. And I'm excited about that, but I wanted to kind of pinpoint specific things and changes that I've been making to kind of accelerate this joy and progress that I've been making. Um, I've been feeling my anxiety symptoms a lot less, um, very little depression, if any. Um, so I wanted to identify like why that was. Um, I'd say I've just started taking a lot of self-care steps like in various places of my life like not just um one like it was before maybe so that has a lot to do with it probably um the first thing that I really want to talk about is what I had to stop doing what I still do I mean like I don't know if I'll ever like stop this completely but something that I had to really stay on top of stay conscious of and that is always comparing myself to others um and in various ways so you compare yourself with people, your friends, people you know, people you don't know that you see on social media. Um, like it could be looks, it could be success, it could be um, something like clothes, it could be it could be anything and various reasons why you compare yourself to people. And I struggle with pretty much each one of those. Like um, I always, especially with me, compared myself to other people's skin. Um, like you know, people you see like as models on websites and just like, my favorite YouTubers, um, people who I look up to, people who I know, that kind of thing, you know, they don't deal with the same kind of like skin issues that I do. Um, and so I, you know, I just know that I'm different, but it's still kind of an uncomfortable feeling when, when you feel like you're the only one in something. Um, um, I would always watch makeup tutorials all the time and foundation reviews is where I, Let's just talk about foundation reviews. Foundation reviews. And so I look at these foundation reviews to see what kind of coverage they have, like if they last long on oily skin, if they can cover up dark spots, you know, that kind of thing. Things that would help me. But I found that a lot of my foundation reviews that I would watch, people would have pretty good skin to begin with. And so I couldn't really get a feel of how much these foundation was actually covering. Um, because their skin looked kind of similar before and after they applied it. So it wasn't really helpful to me. And I found that a lot of YouTubers that I really enjoyed watching kind of had this same sort of thing. Like, they have pretty good skin. And instead of, like, learning from it, I just consistently kept making myself feel bad about my circumstances. I was like, I'll never be able to find a large amount of popular people who exhibit the same kind of struggles that I do, who deal with the same kind of skin issues that I do. Because, like, I just want people who are famous because they're pretty, because they have clear skin. Nobody's an actress on TV with a bunch of stuff on their face like this, you know? Like nobody's a model looking like this. And so I have to accept that. Like I can't really find a representation in the spaces that I like because the spaces that I like aren't really catering towards this kind of imperfection. So I just kind of had to accept that. Um, but a goal that I, not a goal, but like a, a life, not a, a lifestyle change. That I'd say I had to start making for myself was okay for this time being for a certain period of time I just was like I can't it was really bad I was like nobody looks like me nobody has an issue I can't I don't feel comfortable so I had set a goal for myself like okay only watch youtubers um, who have acne who have dark spots who have really oily skin um, who have hyperpigmentation who have uneven complexions because I had to see myself and I know it sounds like I don't know it sounds kind of weird like you have to do this just because so you can feel better about yourself but like I really did you guys so like some of my favorite youtubers who do
deal with these kind of things are Monica Style Muse um, and Raven Elise and Sydney Black. Um, they have like either acne or dark spots or just like hyperpigmentation. Just something that makes them more relatable to me. Um, because I was like, I'm gonna compare myself to people that I see no matter what. Like that's just something human that I do. And so I was like, in order to, to limit that or to make myself not feel as bad for the time being, people that I watch should have that in common with me, being my strongest insecurity um, and not wanting to feel like bad about it all the time. I need to find people who identify with these types of things that I do. That has been really helpful to me because I love YouTube and I wasn't gonna like stop watching it, you know? So I was like, let me just make it suitable to my needs and that's what I did. I'm gonna watch something that helps me, not something that has no value to me that makes me feel worse about myself. And so it's ultimately what I ended up doing. I was like, I can't, I can't watch those clear skinned people right now because I'm not in a good place. And like now I've gotten like, I can watch it, it's fine. Like I've accepted myself, that's different. But for a period of time I was like, okay, look, I'm not watching Flawless Jackie. Another thing that is, that I always like compare myself to, well, not compare myself, but my eyebrows are kind of dark, but you know, I'll fix that. Um, think about heavily um, is people who are like, Twitter famous, Instagram famous, being like really, really pretty. Those people always, always have clear skin. So I was like, okay, look, this common denominator here in beautiful people is there's nothing on their face. Now, that doesn't mean that people with like dark marks and acne and stuff aren't pretty, but if I didn't have any self-confidence, you really could have fooled me. You really could have like, these, this media, look, it's not... It's not realistic like um if i didn't if you don't know any better you would really be like people america society hates imperfections because everybody looks so perfect now everybody's expected to look so to the t you know like so flawless but beautiful without makeup is in every guy song i don't know if this bothers any of you all but like every song that a guy is in not every song but it's always like, she pretty without makeup. She look good without makeup. She don't need makeup. All this stuff about that. Makeup shaming is a real problem, which I guess I'm about to talk about right now because I cannot stand it. Makeup shaming is not, it's not the move. So don't do it, first of all. But it's just like, and I, I get that you don't want to be like catfish. You don't want to be like, you ugly. Nobody wants somebody that's like not attractive. But all this, she don't even need no makeup. That's, that's really for a while for me that was very triggering because i was like i really felt like i did remember i talked about how i really felt like i did and i was like i'm guess i guess i'm just what nobody wants because like clearly clearly i'm not because i think i need it and so that was something that really like stressed me out i mean i never talked about it because nobody could really relate to that i feel i feel like anyways maybe you guys can um but makeup shaming was just something that i really really I still can't get with it, but it used to like hurt my feelings so bad because I was like, I need it. And I don't want guys to think less of me, my friends to think less of me, people to think less of me. Because that line, she's pretty without makeup, I can't relate to. I mean, and of course now I know that I can, you know, like I'm confident with myself now, obviously. But for a while I was like, I guess I'm just really what nobody wants. And that's something that I, but that feeling being like not the ideal beauty, being different in ways that you really cannot fix, being different on the on the place that's the first thing people see about you, that can really hurt you guys. Um, and so that's something that I have had to cope with and get over. But like, just certain, it's kind of like a microaggression for me. Like people will be like, oh, she doesn't even need makeup. I'm like, what about the people that do need makeup? What about the people that feel comfortable with makeup on more than they do without it? Like, what do I want to do next? I don't really follow a makeup routine just because like, I can do whatever I Besides like my prepping and my eyebrows, whatever I do next is kind of like up to how I feel. Um, let's see. What I was saying about makeup shaming and it really like getting to me for a while just because I was like, <laughs> I was like at me next time. <laughs> Basically, I really felt like um, people who are just like people who have such an emphasis about 
women being beautiful without makeup. I mean, yeah, I, I get the value of that. I really do understand the value of wanting somebody who doesn't need much enhancement. Be like, you know, like we all have the ideal of being that person, obviously, but the same way you wear clothes that suit your body, you don't just wear anything. Um, it's the same way that you know what your face needs. It's the same way that you like know certain things that'll make you not more attractive, but just like better looking, better like, like you know how you put on earrings because it adds to your look. It's the same way you put on makeup, it adds to your look. But um, I don't believe in makeup as a way to change yourself. Um, just a way to enhance yourself is really how I see it, how I probably will always see it. Um, so that's kind of like my ideas about makeup shaming. Please guys, if you're watching this video, don't do it. It's not, it's not productive. We just don't need that. People don't wear makeup for you. I'm listening to my friend Bethel's new EP. You should, I'll link it below. It's good. Um, so like I'm reemphasizing that YouTube thing that I did. Like I took a YouTube cleanse almost from people with perfect skin, from people with perfect bodies, just because it wasn't helpful to me at that time. Obviously when you get more comfortable with yourself, you can watch certain things. You can engage in more broader types of media and stuff like that. But I was just like, this is not helpful to me. I feel bad about myself and I don't enjoy it. And that's okay to realize that and be like, I need to take a step back. It doesn't matter what anybody has to say about it. It doesn't matter how you might think people would feel about it. Like it's it's about you and your well-being. Um, so that's something else I would say. Start doing things for yourself. Don't worry about other people. Um, like how I started my YouTube channel and got my chemical peel. Those are things I was terrified to do, you guys. Like when I say terrified, I was so scared people would think of me, um, how people would perceive me. I was so scared of like people like you shouldn't do that to your face you know like and why do I care about people's opinions I still to this day don't know but it's like something that's like ingrained in me that I'm still working on and I care a lot less now for sure but like it's still there um I always want to be mindful but don't take certain opinions to heart that really have no value to your life at the end of the day because sometimes I know it's best for me that people don't understand and that's not really we can't expect people to understand everything about you or else they would be you. You know, like that's why you're you, that's why they're not you. Um, you know yourself, you you are with your feelings at the end of the day and nobody else is. And if there's a solution to those feelings, if there's something that you've been wanting to do, then do it. it I feel so much better. Like, like I feel like when YouTube is or like an outlet like that is something that's available to you that you can really express yourself through, you get a sense of like, calm and like peace and just understanding that you really that wasn't available to you before I'm not saying that you feel bad go start a youtube channel but like i really understand that peace of mind that is so common for like many youtubers that i see it's like people nobody's life is perfect nobody's life is perfect but like that whole like being comfortable with yourself and not to be on camera that's not an easy task to do i think people really like don't take it for what it is like people think that's oh, easy like it's not you have to putting yourself out there in any way that you can be criticized is not something that's easy to do putting yourself out there publicly like, on instagram you can block who follows you you can put yourself on private on youtube you're out there and it's you it's whatever you put out there people can see people can criticize people can comment people can dislike people can screenshot you people can laugh at you this is no joke you guys like people this is some real vulnerable stuff right here um, but I think it's kind of helped make me stronger. Like if like, I'm like, if I'm going to say, I really don't care what people think, then let me give people the opportunity to think things that me not care. And I feel like that's kind of what I'm doing with YouTube. Um, and like that quote I posted on my Snapchat the other day, like there's no shame in being real and vulnerable. It's one of the advantages of being human. You can go through this and people should be able to understand because we all go through things like this. Um, so I feel like it's kind of exciting in an adventure and a journey, like to have the opportunity for people to be able to understand you, to be able to express your feelings and things that you care about because it's so important. Um, like kind of like in the way the diary is, but you just want you want people to read this diary, you know? Things you wish you could tell people without directly telling them. You can, right here. On the internet. Now, the only thing about this whole new inner piece that I found, y'all, I'm so scared that it's gonna go away. Like, I'm so scared something 
I, I gotta stop being fearful, but that's another thing I'll talk about. I'm so anxious that something will come and just make it all go away. That'll just mess it all up. I don't know if it'll be something at school or something with a person. Really praying that this peace, that this confidence that I have found does not leave me because it's so nice. It's almost like scary how well I have been feeling and how things have been going for me lately because there's always something in the way to mess it up and there's not right now, you know, and I'm just, I'm enjoying it. I'm so thankful for it and I hope that it stays this way. But I'm happy to be going into a new school year with this attitude at least. Like, you know, you think you're doing something for yourself when you're leaving high school, you know, like it's a whole new me. You get to college, there's a whole new set of insecurities and problems to have that you don't even anticipate. Um, like who's getting what job, who's getting what co-op, who's going where, who got what grade in this class, and who knows this professor better than you do, who has certain relationships. There's so many different things to worry about in college than in high school. Like it's a different set of problems that I didn't anticipate. Um, so like I feel like now going into a sophomore year, I know better what to expect and I know better how to manage things and prepare for things than I did going into freshman year. So I'm excited about that. I literally... And I know I do it less now, but I still I still gotta work on it. Like I literally compare myself to others to the pulp of me. Like I, <laughs> I mean, I still like obviously wish for some things, but it's not on like a level of like I want to be you. Um, and somebody else who I know that has a lot of scarring on their face, I follow on Instagram. She was saying that she feels like her scars give her character, give her a story to tell, give her dimension give her a struggle that's made her stronger. And I really kind of identify with that because like, had it not been for these insecurities, I would have maybe not started some of my, not followed my dream of, be, of starting a YouTube channel. You know, like, I wouldn't have this story to tell you guys. I wouldn't have this vulnerability to share. And I'm sure something else will be there. But this is, I feel like very unique, unique and something that really was given to me because I, God knows I can handle it. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna go with that because that sounds real good. Yeah. I've also like acknowledged some of my privileges, you guys. Like, you know, when we talk about white privilege all the time, like, I have, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to call it a privilege, but I guess it's like an, I don't know. Like, in foundation lines, if they don't really have a good deep dark range, their last shade will usually be, always be my shade. I don't know if I'm like that typical generic type of brown. But that's something that like always has worked out for me that really couldn't have, like it didn't have to. Um, so like I always acknowledge that um, foundations should deepen or companies should just deepen their, um, what is it called, their shade range because I shouldn't be the last one. Like and I, I'm not that dark. I used to think I was really dark, um, but I'm, I'm not. Like I'm brown skin obviously, but I'm not like super duper dark. Um, and to have me as a last shade is like ignoring an entire population of millions of people. So, yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, it also helps to like um identify things. I look so stupid. <laughs> identify things that you like about yourself. You know, like you have, everybody has things they want to fix about themselves. Everybody has things they don't like about themselves. But there's nothing wrong, nothing vain about being like, I like this about myself, you know? So something that I like, some things that I like about myself. Um, I like my eyes. They're pretty big and cute, I think. Um, I used to hate my voice. I kind of like it now. I used to think it was like too deep. I used to think when I was a little girl, like I'd be like, my mommy, yeah, I sound like a man. Um, but I, my little raspy voice, I, I like it. I enjoy it. I thought I would hate it when I was first starting YouTube. I was like, I can't listen to myself talk. I hate my voice, but I actually don't mind it. So that's good. Um, growing into things you used to be insecure about is also really fun, you know. Um, I like how good of a friend I am. You don't have to be physical things that you like about yourself, just things that you really enjoy about how you are. I think that I'm a pretty good darn good friend. Um, I ask my friends, I hope they say yes, but I really feel like I'm an understanding person and add some personality character and sass that is unlike any other i think the main thing that i wanted to be the takeaway from this is 
to identify things about yourself that you like and recognize some of your privileges um, because everybody does not have certain privileges that you have that you might think are normal or common um, and also to not compare yourself to others you guys it's kind of a liberating feeling when you don't care anymore um, and again like I said always be mindful don't just don't care about like that whole I don't care attitude I don't really relate to that because like you should always be mindful of people how people feel how what you do affects them but like no don't be like so critically um, in tune with people's opinions because they're not you and as long as you're doing what's best for you and not hurting anybody along the way of course and it's quite fine I really like this look it's like a holographic alien space xenon type feeling going on I really enjoy I know I wear this shirt all the time, people, but like I said, as long as what you're doing is about you and not hurting anybody, you're gonna be fine. This shirt ain't got nothing to do with none of y'all. None. So, it's all good. Be slick because I'm an oil ball. It's probably still not enough, but I'm running low, so, so. This, I mean, besides the wetness, this, this is what my face looks like. Um, I hope you, oh, I don't have anything on my lips. I hope that this video was somewhat enjoyable. Um, that I talked about something helpful. That you, again, understand what is going on in this head. Because sometimes I don't even know. That's why I come here and I just let you guys kind of figure it out. Um, let me know if I should do more Get Ready With Me's. They were kind of fun. I kind of enjoyed this. I'm not gonna lie. So I'll probably do another one. Just even if you don't tell me to, I'm probably going to. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.